How good are China's own AI chips and will their guidance against Nvidia's H20 actually stick? Washington just cleared Nvidia and AMD to sell downgraded AI chips to China, but only if they hand over 15% of those sales back to the US. Trump calls the H20 obsolete, yet still insists there's a market for it in China. The chip that we're talking about, the H20, it's, uh, it's an old chip, but the H20 is obsolete. You know, it's one of those things, but it still has a market. Beijing's response? Security warnings, environmental critiques, and letters discouraging H20 use, especially in government work. It's not an outright ban, but it's part of a playbook that China's used against Apple, Tesla, Intel, and Micron. Squeeze foreign technology, boost domestic alternatives. Huawei's AI chips are catching up fast. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang has called them formidable. Huawei's technology, based on, based on um, our, our best understanding at the moment, uh, and we have a lot of ground truth there, uh, is probably comparable to an H200. And so they're, they're, um, they've been moving quite fast. But even Huawei still can't meet all the demand and moving ecosystems is messy. Even Beijing-backed AI firms have struggled and had delays when moving off Nvidia. That's the bind. China wants self-sufficiency, Washington wants control, and Nvidia's stuck in the middle, selling chips to China that are good enough, but not too good, such that they cross the latest US red lines.